Hey, good morning. This is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and today I want to talk a little bit about using the Get Win Event Commandlet and the Filter Hash Table parameter that I like to use in order to filter the Windows Event Log. You can also use this technique to filter other logs as well, such as ETL logs, trace logs, and stuff like this. The get one event commandlet is extremely powerful. It's also extremely flexible. And whenever you hear the two words powerful and flexible, you can also think, well, hmm, a bit complicated as well. So for instance, if I look at the um, the syntax of the get, uh, get one event um, uh, commandlet, then um, I can see that there's a number of what are called parameter sets. So you can specify the log name and the maximum events and the oldest blah blah. And you can list the logs, you can list the providers, and but then when you actually get down to try to filter, so you got a filter on XPath, um, you got a filter using XML, and you got a filter using a hash table. Now, if you look at these things, some of the things that you don't see are like the event ID. Uh, is it an error or, um, or a warning or an info? You know, some of the other things. You don't even see like a message parameter. So the kinds of things here that um, that we see, they do not, uh, it doesn't look as easy uh, to use or as uh, powerful perhaps to use as um, as the get event log. But as a matter of fact, it's much more powerful than the get event log. It's just a little bit more complicated. Now, whenever I use a filter hash table, I have to know um, how to specify a key and a value. Now, if I look at help um, for get one event, then um, and I have to say, uh, give me the full um, the full parameters here. Then, if I look at this, then I can come down here and I'll be able to find uh, what's available for the filter hash table. So uh, it gives you all the uh, the if ands or buts and stuff, and then we actually get down to what the valid parameters are: log name, provider name, path, keywords, ID level, start end, user ID, data, um, and then just kind of like a wildcard string there. Now I've got this in a uh, table on the uh, Hey Scripting Guy blog article on the 21st um, of October 2015, and um, so I actually you know, like my little table a little bit better. Yeah, you know, I have I keep it readily available so that I can do this. This is the hardest part about actually using this uh, commandlet. So if I say get when event. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I get when event. Uh, then I specify the filter hash table, um, and then now it's just an, um, a hash table. So uh, the first thing you obviously you need to know is the log name um, is equal to, and let's say application, and um, then um, I can come over here and I can specify the max events as one. I always like to specify my maximum events with a very low number uh, when I'm trying out these types of queries because these logs now they have like tens of thousands of events and you could generate a ton of network traffic if you're doing this remotely. Uh, you can generate a decent amount of CPU time, disk IO activity off of even a local server. And uh, so, and if you don't get the query right, then you're just like, you know, wasting those resources. So um, I like to kind of prototype this. Unfortunately, uh, since this is a get type of command, let I can't use dash what if. So my version of what if for using get one event is to specify the max events. And uh, so it's only going to return like one event, you know, that meets this match. So now this is a, a key and a value in a hash table. A hash table always begins with an ampersand and an open and close curly brackets. So now if I want to specify an additional parameter here, then I do a semicolon, and then I'd specify another keyword such as uh, the level. Now the level here, uh, this is a warning informational error you know so forth and so on unfortunately I don't have parameter or tab completion here so I've got to have my table open you know or something or else I've got to be able to memorize what all of these things are and unfortunately the names that I specify here aren't the the, th the names that necessarily show back up here um, 
So this is level display name, you know, um, or ID uh, or message, and these names aren't the same thing that match up as to what I have to specify. Um, so um, this is a zero, one, two, three. This is an enum actually, and uh, so I'm just going to say uh, error level zeros, yeah, and um, put this back. And it comes back, and this is an informational uh, a level two. Is an error. Uh, level one um, is uh, not specified, and um, so then you also have like a level zero um, is an informational. Uh, so we can see the uh, the different levels that come back um, that that match this. So uh, so the warning or the errors are the ones that I'm most concerned about, and that's level two, and. Um, so now I've got my log and I've got a particular level. And so now I can specify an event ID. Let's, so let's look for 413s. Uh, so now I come back over here and I'm going to change this to 10 events this time. And um, so come back over here, uh, another semicolon, and then an ID is equal to, and this is a number, uh, so uh, 10, 13, and uh, press enter. And um, I, even though I said 10 events, there's only three in my entire log. And they uh, all occurred back on August the 3rd uh, within about an hour and 20 or 30 minutes or so. And um, so and these were errors. Uh, actually, these were informational, sir, um, on that. So this is probably about the time that I uh, actually installed Windows 10 on this particular laptop and so this may very well be a, a setup kind of an issue or something. So uh, this is the filter hash table. Uh, it can become uh, very powerful um, and um, we'll talk about the performance of uh, using the uh, get one event versus get event log um, in my video tomorrow. So this is Ed Wilson. I'm the Microsoft scripting guy. And this is how you use a filter hash table with a uh, git event. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.